In this lesson, I will demonstrate some of the core skills I use when creating clouds in acrylic. Clouds can be challenging to paint due to their diverse edge qualities, ranging from soft to hard edges. When working with acrylics, achieving soft edges consistently can be challenging because acrylic paint dries quickly. However, don't worry. In this part, I will guide you on how to paint four common types of clouds that you often encounter in paintings, with step-by-step -step instructions. First, I will guide you on how to paint cirrus clouds. These are the simplest type of clouds to paint. To begin, I will use a mix of white, ultramarine, and a touch of red for the base coat of the clouds. Add a bit of white for the highlight of the clouds. So, I have completed the demonstration of how to paint cirrus clouds using just a few basic colors. You can apply this technique to your own paintings to create a lively sky. Next, I will demonstrate how to paint cumulus clouds. To begin, I'll create a darker mix for the cloud shadows using white, red, deep yellow, and ultramarine. The lower part of a cloud is typically darker. It is important that you not make this shadow part too dark but also dark enough. It is difficult to balance this part as it so easily can be made too dark, or too light. Now, apply a layer of white paint onto the clouds to create the highlights. A lot of cloud shapes have a variety of edge qualities within a single shape. We can take a dry soft brush with white on it and drag it over an edge to soften the edge up. This is often useful when trying to describe form shadows or lost edges. Continue applying the scrubbing technique with white to the other clouds.
While the paint that you've applied is dry, apply a layer of white paint into the clouds to create the highlight. Continuing with my lesson, I'll now guide you on how to paint cumulonimbus clouds. For this, I'll still be using a filbert brush and a mix of white, deep yellow, red, and ultramarine for the base coat of cumulonimbus clouds. Use the scrubbing technique to apply the base coat of cumulonimbus clouds. Now scumble this gray along the bottom of the clouds to create a shadow. Move reasonably fast as this will dry quickly. You can repeat this process as many times as you like. Using a very small amount of white paint on a dry bristle brush, begin to paint the highlight. Use a light touch to start and more pressure as you run out of paint so you achieve a fairly even and light application of paint. I am using a filbert brush.
Work your brush in a circular motion to create the fluffy edges of the clouds. This brush technique is called scumbling. The final step is to add highlights to the top of the clouds in the direction of the light, from left to right. For this step, I'm using white paint only. In this final part, I want to guide you on how to paint clouds using only white paint and a filbert brush. For these clouds, you need to twist the brush in different directions to create various cloud shapes. This is the simplest way you can do to apply to your landscape paintings. Paint these clouds is also very simple. First, I take a bit of white paint on the tip of the brush, and then I scrub to shape the clouds by pulling until there's no more paint on the bristles. Finally, I add a bit of highlight with white at the top of the clouds. So, I have demonstrated some basic cloud types on a blue sky using acrylic. I hope that through my step-by-step -step guidance, you can confidently paint clouds in your artwork. See you in the next part where I'll instruct you on how to paint the sky during sunrise and sunset.
If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.